Hello and welcome back to Troll Plays. A few months ago, I created a video on how you can stream both your PS4 and your Xbox One uh, straight from the console and had a lot of questions about how to get alerts when you're streaming straight from the console. Then I created another video showing how you can use a Twitch extension from owned.tv on how to get those alerts to pop on your stream. And over the past few months, I've had a lot of trouble getting those alerts to actually work correctly. So not wanting to be defeated, I actually went out and did some research and found an even better Twitch extension that allows you to have not only alerts, but also creating overlays for console streaming. And that extension is from Overlay Expert. So I'm gonna walk you through how to create your own overlay, how to add the alerts to it, and then how to add that extension to Twitch. So whenever you're streaming straight from your console, you can have awesome overlays and even be right back screens or starting soon screens. And you can control all that through Twitch chat. So we're gonna jump onto overlayexpert.com. I'm gonna walk you through creating these overlays, how to set them up. So that way you can have an awesome looking stream, even if you're streaming straight from your console and no one will be the wiser. All right, now that we're on the PC, since this is all done through a browser, we're gonna pop open a web browser. Overlay expert.com. It's gonna ask you to sign in or sign up. And what you wanna do is you wanna sign in and sign up with your Twitch account that you're wanting these uh, overlays and alerts to pop up on. So I'm gonna connect this to my Twitch. And I'm already logged in on my Twitch. Once you're signed in, get started, it's free. And it's gonna take us to the builder. It's gonna, there's gonna be a quick little walkthrough. Hopefully I'm gonna do a little bit better job than the walkthrough that they provide. So I'm gonna click no, and then you will see your base canvas. Uh, if you've ever used any editing software such as uh, Adobe Photoshop or GIMP, you'll be familiar with the checkerboard pattern, knowing that that means that there is a transparency on the background. Keeping that in mind, this is our base canvas. Uh, we should have our account up in the top right. And then we have a little cloud icon, which means we're gonna save this. All this is saved to the cloud. Over here on the main settings, uh, don't worry about the browser source URL. Uh, what that means is if you're using something like OBS and you don't wanna create your overlays, you can actually create them here and you can bring this overlay into OBS using a browser source. I'm not gonna get into that. That's a, another topic for another day. So we're gonna start with the title, test stream overlay. Description if you want to add one if you're setting up overlays for certain games, you can actually tie this to a game uh, However, I'm not going to do that either Resolution 1080p 4k 720 or custom. I'm going to keep this at 1080p all of the assets that I have created for this are in 1080p and This does not affect the resolution you're streaming in. So if you have this set to 1080p, but you're streaming in 720 Overlay expert actually downscales this to 720 for you uh, and vice versa. So uh, resolution is mainly just for the, the content that you've created for the overlay. All my stuff is, is in 1080p, so I'm gonna leave it that way. Now, you need to think about these overlays as in layers, and that's actually what Overlay Expert calls them is a layer. So you can have a layer that has uh, your main background image on it, a layer that has just text on it, a layer that is in an alert. So we're gonna build this from the bottom up. So I'm gonna click add new layer. And I'm going to walk you through this so it's not so daunting, I hope. So just like we named our overlay, we can actually title our layer. And I'm going to call this main BG for the main background. This is just going to be the background overlay. We're not doing a nested layer. So the background is going to be the actual background of the layer. I'm going to hit select here. I'm going to hit upload down in the bottom right. And that's going to take me to where I have these overlays already set out. And I have a PNG here. Uh, keep in mind, PNGs allow the transparency. If you have a JPEG, you're not gonna have transparency. I'm gonna click the check button. And you'll notice here that it looks a little weird. I can grab it and move it around, but it's not actually fitting my picture. So I'm gonna go to tiling. I know that I made this the full screen. So I'm gonna hit none, because I know it's 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna fit to the layer. Once I do that, you'll notice that it's going to shrink down to the size of this little bounding box that I have. I can change the opacity if I want to, but I want it to be completely 
opaque size and position so you notice as i click these arrows i'm done with one section i'm going to go to the next one these are like little drawers of information that you're putting into it uh, this is a top left zero zero grid layout the top left is zero zero and it increases as you go down and to the right so i know i can put this i want to pin this to the top left so i can put zero zero and i also know that my picture size is 1920 by 1080. so if i do that you notice that it's going to be full screen and that's exactly what i wanted you also notice that there's a little thing up here that says new content item and that's kind of annoying so we're going to go through there we're going to skip the alerts and we're going to go to the actual content of this layer and it's set to text and you'll notice down here if we scroll down past all of this stuff we don't want to mess with any text because this is not going to have any text on this layer and we'll go down to new content item and when i click on it i get this text group content and i want to actually delete what's in there and hit the check box. And that actually removed that because I know this is just an image, just a background. I don't need to worry about the content. I actually wanted to delete the content that's in there. Don't worry about chat, quick toggle right now. We're gonna get to that in a second. So now we have our background. We're gonna hit the check mark up here in the top right. And you see that we have our layer, main BG that we just created. So in order to save this, I'm gonna click the cloud. Then I get the check mark telling me that it was saved. You also notice I get the browser source URL. I don't show it to people because that means they can hijack your overlay. Let's add another layer. And again, we're building this from the bottom up. So our background is on the bottom. The new layer, we're gonna call this recent follows. Again, not doing an nested layer. I'm not gonna put a background on this because this is just text. And size and position, I can do this here, but if I really want to dial this in, I can grab it and move it over top of certain places if I want to. So I'm going to move it over this top left box here. Now the content, again, remember we went and removed the text from the background. So this one is actually going to be text. So we're going to look at this text content. I'm going to leave it text free form for here. My font family, I really love uh, Mont Surat. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, the size, uh, weight, and the color. I'm gonna change the color to this nice blue color that I kind of have matching the rest of my overlay. And now you'll see that new content item has uh, shown up here. And every time you add a layer, it's gonna show up as new content item. If you don't want the text, you know where to go delete that from the previous step. Uh, the size of the text actually looks pretty good. And I'm gonna leave the weight the same. Again, I can do bold, medium, semi-bold. If I wanted to add an outline to this, I could add a two pixel outline and I can make it red. And then you'll notice it looks kind of weird because I made a two pixel outline. If I change this to one, uh, you can still see the blue a little bit, but it's outlined in red. However, I don't want an outline. So change that to zero. I'm not gonna put a shadow on it. You can do drop shadows on all the text on here, which is pretty awesome. A content overflow you need to pay attention to because if you have text that goes past these boundaries it's going to auto scroll for you and you can scroll it horizontally left or right or vertical up and down depending on the type of overlay you're trying to create so i'm going to leave it horizontal now under text group we have new content item so i'm going to click this and i actually want this to say followers and i'm going to put a colon and what I want to do is go through this list of available dynamic content. So I can put my Twitch handle, my Twitter handle, Facebook, all the stuff that comes from Twitch is here. Stuff that comes from Twitter, Facebook, Google. I'm not gonna use any of that stuff, just the Twitch, cause that's all we're worried about. And I'm gonna do recent follows. So what that's gonna do is gonna say followers with a colon and then it's gonna say any recent follows I have. And right now I don't have any. I'm gonna click the checkbox to get out of that. And then I can also align this text. So if this text box was a lot bigger, right now it's aligned to the top left. I can actually change the text to horizontally center and I can get absolute center. I could also right align or left align. I'm gonna leave it top left because it seems to fit in that box pretty well. 
And if I make this smaller to where the text overflows, you'll see how this uh, content overflow actually works. So it's actually going to scroll horizontal left to right. So if, if my list of followers grows, it's just going to start scrolling this left to right. I'm going to click OK. Now I could do the same thing over here. I could add a layer for subscriptions if I wanted to or a donation goal, anything like that. Uh, but I'm going to add a new layer real quick. Again, we get the new content item. I'm just going to call this follow count. I don't worry about the background, the size and position, because this is just going to be text. Again, I'm going to go with my Montserrat because it's my favorite. I'm going to change the color back to that blue. Actually, I need to change this color to black and I'm actually going to make this uh, bold again, not doing an outline. Uh, let's add a shadow to this. So I'm going to up the blur radius a little bit. You'll see how it's kind of making this look blurry and then I can actually offset this so it looks like an actual drop shadow. So now I'm going to move this down here. You see that drop shadow turns out really well right there. Back under new content item, I'm going to delete everything that's in here and then I actually want to do follows. So this is going to give me the count of follows that I currently have, which is zero on this account. And then alignment, I actually want to dead center this because I'm going to make this box here the size of where I want this to be. And I want it to be completely centered in that box. Now I noticed that looks a little small, so I'm actually going to change the size of this. Uh, let's do 80. That looks pretty good. And then we're good to go. So we have our recent followers in the top left. We have the number of followers in the, in the bottom middle. And then we have our full overlay. I'm gonna go ahead and save this before I forget. And now the great thing about this is I can also add alerts to this. And this is where this becomes very powerful because it's not just overlays, but it's also alerts. So I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna call this follow alert. Now I want my alert to have a picture pop up as well as text. So you'll notice I have the new content item here and I know I'm probably going to make this dead center in the screen. I'm going to choose an image. I have a nice little dancing gift here. Now the tiling again, we're going to do none and I'm going to fit to the layer because I want it to match up with the size of this size and position. I'm going to leave it exactly where it is because it looks pretty good right there. And you notice that this is over top of everything, which is good because I want this to pop right in the center of the screen. Now alerts set when to show this layer. So always shown time based or event based. So if you had a counter and you wanted to count down to a time based event, you can do that. However, I'm going to do event based. I'm going to get this. Please resolve errors before continuing. What type of event is it? So this is going to be a Twitch follow. So these are all of the things that you can actually have events on uh, cheers, hosts, raids. So you can make alerts for pretty much everything you want to Twitch related. So I'm going to choose Twitch follow and it'll show you that it actually simulated the event, which means this popped. Now, if I want to choose a sound, I can, uh, I can upload my own sounds or I can do something public. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's do the evil laugh here. I can set a volume. If, if my uploaded sound is way too loud, I can change the volume a little bit so it doesn't scare people, but that's kind of fun. Now the animation of entry and exit, we can animate how this comes in and out. So the entry, I actually want it to puff in and the exit I'm going to puff out. So you can go through this list. There are a ton of options in here. Uh, it's fantastic that you can do all this and really make your alerts your own. And then how long to show the animation. So this is going to play for 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds. I preview the animation so that, that you can see how it's going to come in and out. You can toggle that on and off. So this is going to puff in and puff out. And now we need to get rid of this new content item. So I'm going to go to content. I'm going to leave it text. Again, I'm going to use my Montserrat. Uh, I'm going to make it bold. I think the size is okay. So what I'm going to do is now in the text group content, I'm actually going to type a message that's going to welcome the person to the group. So I'm going to say, welcome 
to the group and so notice I can actually put um, new lines in here so I can hit the enter key and it'll actually fill this out as a paragraph and you'll see the new lines over here on the left as well so in the middle I want to fill that with a person who actually followed so follow display name that's going to show the newest follower I want to hit the check mark and I'm gonna hit the check mark. So now that we're back on the main screen, uh, we can actually trigger this follow alert here. Uh, if you just click on it, <laughs> you'll see that it simulated the event. So it's gonna say welcome overlay expert to the group. And then of course, after five seconds, that would disappear on the stream. It's gonna keep it up here because we're actually in this layer to edit it and it's not going to disappear. So that's what it's gonna look like when it comes in and out. I'm going to hit the save. Now I want to show you another cool feature of overlay expert, which is the chat quick toggle uh, that I told you we'd get to in a minute. And we can actually use this to display and hide certain layers, which is actually going to allow us to do something cool, such as a BRB screen or a be right back screen. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to change the title to BRB layer. Now the background, I'm going to hit select upload. So I have a be right back screen. I want to make sure this is set to none and I'm going to fit to layer size and position. I'm going to pin this to the top left and I know I want it to be 1920 by 1080 because that's the size that I made it. So now I have a be right back screen that's actually taking over the entire screen. Uh, there's no alerts here. The content we want to make sure we want to, we want to get rid of this new content item. So we can actually delete that. That content item is gone. Now for the chat quick toggle. So the chat API, we're going to use this Twitch. Now you can actually get very granular on who is allowed to toggle these messages. So just from the broadcaster, a moderator, a sub, anyone. So only from the broadcaster, because you want to be able to control when your be right back screen comes on the toggle message and the toggle off message. So you want to make sure that these are not set to the same because it's going to confuse the software. It's going to run them back to back. So it's going to display and then undisplay. Toggle message, we're going to say BRB on and then we're going to say BRB off. Remember that chat commands start with a exclamation point. So you want to make sure you put the exclamation point BRB on, exclamation point BRB off or whatever you want. I'm going to click OK. So now this is what's going to display whenever this overlay pops up. And then in the chat, all you have to do is hit exclamation point BRB off. This will turn off exclamation point BRB on and it'll come back on. So we can actually hide this to show what it looks like. Make sure that we save this. And now our overlay is pretty much done. So if we go up to your account, you can actually go to my overlays and you'll see that there are some overlays that they've already created for you. And then in the bottom, you'll see my overlays, which are the overlays that you have created. Here's our test stream overlay. We can actually preview this or we can go back and edit if we need to. If we go back to my overlays, we can actually clone this if we wanted to make a copy of it for something else or delete this if we want to get rid of it. All right now that the fun part is done, we're actually going to link this to our Twitch account. We're heading to twitch.tv and then go to your account. We're going to go to creator dashboard. Over in the far left, we're going to go to extensions. And then we're going to search an extension and we're searching for overlay expert. Now, overlay expert should show up. That's the one we want. We're going to click install. It will not display until it's activated and configured. So let's go ahead and configure this. Now, because we linked our Twitch account to this, it's already going to log us into uh, overlay expert and it's going to pull our overlay. So you'll see the overlays that we saw uh, provided by overlay expert at the top. In the bottom, you can actually create a new overlay, which will take you to overlayexpert.com, or here is the one we're going to choose. You'll notice that it's selected. We're going to close that. And now it's installed, but it's not activated. So we're going to activate and set as overlay one. The extension is now active on slot extension overlay one. So we're set as overlay one. Again, we can click the gear icon to go back and configure if we want to select a different overlay to make sure that it's selected here. And then that's all there is to it for the extension. So we're gonna go back home. All right, and now that everything is set up, I'm actually going over to my channel. I'm gonna give overlay extension a second to pop up, but you'll notice that my overlay extension is enabled. 
If you don't see it, you can click on this overlay extension box and make sure that the check mark for visible is on. We can close that. We can also set the volume for the overlay. So if people aren't hearing your sounds, it's probably because the extension is set to muted in their browser. Again, you're not setting this uh, volume for everyone. This is just for your browser extension. So each person watching your stream has to set their own volume for the extension. If you remember whenever we were setting up our layers and we created the BRB layer that we toggled that to hide. So whenever this overlay comes up, it's actually hidden. If we want to turn that on, we go down to our chat. And because we are logged in as the same account that set up the overlay, we can do exclamation point BRB on, and that will turn on the BRB screen. If we want to turn that back off, we say exclamation point BRB off, and it'll turn that back off. So that's what the chat quick toggle actually looks like in action. Pretty cool. You can actually set up some other screens as well and have different commands for those. If you wanted a starting soon screen uh, and then different chat commands for each of those, you can really get crazy and creative with this, which is awesome for a Twitch overlay. It's actually pretty incredible. All right, you also see that uh, followers, uh, this will hold over from stream to stream. The followers up here, uh, my main account followed this and I have one follower. I'm gonna click follow on a different account and we'll see if this alert pops. <laughs> and there we go. Welcome Chole Plays Test 2 to the group. We get the alert, we get the sound. And then it also goes up here into our recent followers and then our follower account has upgraded to a two. Uh, keep in mind that those are not completely instant. Uh, they may take a second to pop, but you will get them and you will see them on your stream using the overlay expert uh, extension. So as you can see, overlay expert is a super powerful tool. It allows you to do a lot with a little and for free, which again, this channel is all about some free stuff. So if you want your alerts and your overlays, even when you're streaming from a console, it doesn't get much better than overlay expert. And they're again, they're not a sponsor of this video. It's just something that I found because uh, I'm constantly doing research on better streaming tools and things to help my community out with their streaming. So go check it out, get it set up. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, I love you all. Peace.